Hello everyone and welcome back to a new Strikers video on my channel. Today I present to you a pretty funny challenge that my friend Skipper came up with. He's also going to be our opponent for the video. We used Google Translate to randomly select our teams and now we're going to play with those teams. Here's the kickoff. You can already see I got kinda lucky getting Gran and Hiroto. So I got that double fire. He has Endo as a goalkeeper. We randomized the team for the goalkeeper. We both got. We both got Raymond 2. So while he went with Endo to counter my Hirotos, I went with Tachimukai to counter Somioka. So there's our first attack. There goes Hiroto, no, there goes Garan rather, since it's the Elia form, just with blue hair, fitting our Nemesis Domain uniform. There's Wataru. Oh, and we score, but it's offside. Unlucky. Well, his winger, Hayami, traps the ball and goes through with the Mujinomai. And now he just blasts it forward. Oh, and there's Ichino getting the ball from Kogure. He's playing Ichino as a striker for some reason. Bit of a weird decision, but whatever. We'll just roll with it. I think he forgot that Ichino doesn't have any... No shots. And... No dashes, so he tries an Inazuma shot here, but fails, obviously. Now we're pushing forward with Namikawa, also getting a Mujin no Mai in on Megane Kakaru. He actually got two of those, he has two Meganes. So that's gonna be funny to see. No Gran is charged again, going through. Come on Nemesis Gran. I think the blue hair really matches in with the blue uniform, I like it. Oh, and I tried to bait him into giving us a corner here, but that didn't work. Oh, there's Sezichino advancing over the field. And he actually probably accidentally uncharged Sezichino, so we used this to attack with our hero time. And we even get a throw in off, so it doesn't affect our hero gauge too much. No, there's this defender, we got Wataru on the ball. Wataru, 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 Wataru! No, his defender's there to stop us. But good attack, good attack. We're getting the ball to Wataru again. Wataru against Ichino, we pass, I know that. Wataru passes. Wataru actually has S plus body, which most people don't know. So he can be pretty good. Again, back to Garan. Oh. We lose the ball. We can get it back though. And now there's Garan. But we are actually stopped for now. But now we got Namikawa. Namikawa's cash in comes off against Endo. And that's gonna be a goal if his Kabiyama doesn't magically teleport into the ball. Heavy Aqua Ransu. There's the shot, no block. Endo's not even <laughs> in the goal from the wrong positioning from earlier. And that's the 1 0. Nami Kavarenske scores with his heavy Aqua Lance. That was more of a spontaneous de decision to go with the cash and shot, but it worked, so that's nice. But there's Ratsatsu. And we initiate with Mephisto and actually get through Rasetsu. So we stay on the ball. And now we give it to Wataru. Now we're kind of free here. Oh, and we did manage to stall out enough time until Wataru is charged, which was my plan here. So we take away his hero time. 
And there's Wataru into Hiroto. 2 nil. Come on. This looking good for us. He didn't get a Somyokan to the game much. And Ichino as a second forward really isn't posing any danger. His Inaba also didn't do too much yet. There's November. I don't know if he uncharged Somyoka, so Somyoka might be charged. And there goes the Love Arrow. Even passing Inaba. And then Amagi is there to stop the not chain as Somyoka was not charged either. He gets non charge on Inaba off though. And just yeets it forward here, but Kazumaru is there first. Okay, we lose the ball, but he clears it to a throw in, so it's all fine. And I'm just gonna try to break through. There's his defender. Oh, and Nishigaki tackles us. That's actually very good because we pass. He engages with his spinning cut, Dark Emperor's Nishigaki. And now Hiroto's through. Can we no mesh here? We can no mesh here. Hiroto with his second goal. Let's go. I'm gonna go ahead and assume that Skipper thought that since we have Hiroto and Gran, we would be playing Chain. So maybe the sudden no mesh team is catching him off guard a bit. But I'm gonna take it. We go into halftime with a 3 0. Namisawa and the double Hiroto. We already got our keys. I think I'll leave it like this. The fire chain is no use if he has endo. Uh, yeah, I don't really need any of those. What I'm gonna do now is. I'm gonna charge Namikawa because he really needs it. He needs the TP. And then, since we have eight body, uh, we have six body keys and two guard keys. I'm gonna boost Wataru's charge time. And our hero time. I wanted to boost Gran first to give Gran S plus body, which would be really OP. But if he only has level 1 defenders on the side, that's not going to be of much use. I also don't know why he's playing Hayami on the wings. If I was him, I'd, I would have put Rasetsu as a forward. Uh, Huge, Hugo, Ichino, and Hayami as defenders since they both have level 3 defensive his Hisatsus that can block. And just Nishigaki, Malcolm. Uh, as a defensive midfielder or as a winger and Arki as a defensive midfielder. And I think Skipper doesn't really know what to go for with keys. He does have that Inaba for the 4 kick and he has Jade too, just like me. Hidori is her Japanese name I believe. But yeah. Half time's over, he did use the hero time boost and boosted his left midfielder. I didn't see how though. He switches in shadow. His left midfielder is Ichino, so maybe we should have boosted Karan here now. Oh, there's Megane. Megane loses the ball hero time against hero time and we dribble fast, but I don't think we take away his hero time here. I'm gonna initiate because I don't think he has six guard keys or more, so we pass with Garan. I hope we take a zero time now. We still did not take a zero time. There goes a cross, pass back. Dribble with Mephisto, now we definitely have a zero time. So let's see what Mephisto can do. Mephisto... Onto Hiroto. And another offside, but Nishigaki would probably have been there anyways. So it doesn't matter too much. There's Megana Kakaru again. But Hiroto takes the ball. Good job, Hiroto. Gives it to Mysterin, who does not have dashes. I'm 
I'm going for Dribble here because the Death Spear onto Endo doesn't really make sense. Judge through two coming in. Oh, and Mephisto gets the Inazuma shot off after the first shot from Miss Dream. Come on. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, he actually did put Hayami as his middle defender now. Oh, and he tried to do something with Inaba, but it failed. He waited too long with the shot. He probably wanted to train with Somyoka. But for that, he should have let go away earlier. I think he's also underestimating Inaba's ability to, to no mesh. Either that or he doesn't really like to no mesh. I'm guessing the latter too, but Inaba having a dribble cash in is as powerful as Ray Montanma in dribble. Just that he gives kick keys. There's his initiate on Kabiyama. Obviously, he blocks us. We can't pass Kabiyama with Garan. Especially not without S plus body. But we get the on charge on Garan here, so that's pretty good. Garan is doing surprisingly good as a winger. Oh, we are first on the ball, and we can just eat it forward here. And Harum actually makes a steal. I only put him in. Well, I did get him, obviously. I only put him in to give the four body keys, but he actually makes a good steal here. No, we just leave the ball four. Wait, is this... Is one of his defenders Megane? I believe he is indeed. Oh, but I messed up, no! I messed up, that's not good. No, Inaba's on the ball again. Ankara Inaba, Ankara Inaba, Ankara Inaba. Oh, he goes for a pass, but that pass is obviously stopped by both Kogore, who I moved, and Namikawa, who is our defensive midfielder after all. You know, we just go for a long pass. He can stop us. And that's Hiroto getting a hat trick. Okay. Come on, Hiroto, blasting off. Oh, and Hiroto almost makes another important steal. But there goes his Hiroto now. We don't get there with Wataru. There's Rasetsu's extend zone. Not too strong the shot, actually. And he gets the chain off with Dragon Slayer. That could have actually scored. If I get less than 10 RNG. But Amagi is there, so I don't think we have to fear anything here. What I have to consider though is that I can't stop it with the level 2 probably. Since we don't have that S plus guard that Inazuma Japan Tachimukai has. But with Mao the Hunt that should be alright. Oh yeah actually he would have scored with Dragon Slayer. Since he's not playing Dragon Blaster. Well good thing Amagi was there then. On the left wing there's Kalos free. Oh and I passed into the void. That is not good. There comes Shadow. He fails a dash. And Shadow has no dribbling. So he just gets sweeped away by Senpujin. We just play long pass. His left side is super weak. Another long pass onto Wataru. Oh, but I slipped from the controller. And we missed the dash. Unlucky. Still gets through, but we can get the ball again. Ah! Oh, they try to get it with the hero time, but we slide tackle the ball into the outside, unluckily. Now there's Shadow. I don't know what Shadow's going for. Is he just shooting it like this? He could have played Inaba as a forward two with the void chain. Oh, he actually does play Inaba as a forward, but he isn't charged. He is not charged, so even with our measly 2 RNG, we save it with another Mao the Hando. Well, at least Skipper's formation seems more stable in the second half. Even though we do pass quite a lot. And I just shoot the ball forward. 
I didn't really think there. But Mephisto is able to steal the ball with a demon cut, and now we have the ball in Wataru. Oh, and he does get a defensive Hisatsu off, which means he loses his hero time because we pass. But he stops us from making the goal first. But maybe we can get no mission. Ah, we can't. They don't position as I hoped they would, and there's Hayami getting the ball with Shinkuma now. Unlucky. Oh, but there's Hiroto. Hiroto takes the ball with the slide tackle. Can Hiroto actually score a fourth goal here? He can! Hiroto, what a player! Kiyama Hiroto with four goals. Holy shit, and I believe that's gonna be the end of the match. So that's it for today's random number challenge. I hope you liked this video. I think it was a really cool idea that Skipper had with the lucky ending for us, beating him 6-0. Um, I may do a video like this again in the future because I really like this kind of challenge as it forces you to use players that you've never used. Thanks everyone for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe if you stayed so far. And See you all in the very next video. Bye.